Okay. All right, so I'm going to show you around uh, Radar Apis and starting with the very basics, basically what you bought the program for, which is to uh, use a repertory. Um, so if you hit F2 on your computer keyboard, uh, it brings up the navigation window. And uh, that's a, you know, you can get there with the mouse by pressing on the binoculars. And there's all your chapters, okay? So let's put a rubric in. So I've gone into extremities and I can just start typing my in coordination. That was the one that I wanted. So I can just drag that in, uh, hit the delete key a couple of times and you're back in the main extremities view. Um, if I go for another one, which is really quite similar and drag that in and then go back again and go into the mind section choose another rubric typing occupation ameliorates drag that in okay delete key takes you back into the mind section wait for another rubric quarrelsome and if you hit return again now, you'll actually go to the rubric and you'll see all the different remedies that are there, the ones in bold type. I have mine arranged a little differently to what you might first see, but um, if you go up to this cog here, that brings you some different options. So you can change the background color. I've changed that just because I feel like it's easier to look at. Uh, again, normally it will show two columns. Um, but I find that hard to look at as well and you know I like to see the cross references you can get rid of those if you prefer yeah um, you know just go back and if you hit that little remedy then it shows you the remedies again so it's kind of moved me slightly away from where I was I'm just gonna go back to quarrelsome and um, so you can just pick that up and drag all of that in as well. Uh, you can hit the equals key and that just pops it in there as well. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, shift equals and press options and then it gives you <coughs> lots of options as well but we'll go into that later. Okay so for now hit the binoculars and we can just keep adding rubrics here. Um, let's go for this one. Rest cannot run things in the proper place. There we go. Drag that in. And maybe we could combine that with another one of a similar type. Press escape, gets rid of that window. So if I now click on this one. What I might do now is group together these similar rubrics so they become one large one. So it's a, it's a right click on the Windows uh, or a control click on the Mac. I go in there and combine rubrics. And you can give them a letter here, E for extremities, and group them. Um, so now they're counting as one rubric essentially. Um, we could possibly do the same with these two. So it's a, yeah, on a Mac, you click and then command click, uh, and click on the other one. You've got them both selected, then do a control click and combine them. Give it a letter. Yeah, so it's with all remedies combining to make a larger one. Okay, all right. <coughs> Once you're in your analysis, you can uh, change how you want it to sort the uh, degrees, symptoms. Uh, you can hit prominence and that brings out the bold type or italic type. So now we see tarantula, which is uh, a red line symptom for quarrelsome, comes right up. <coughs> uh, we could also look at the small remedies and we can do small rubrics, so there aren't actually any small rubrics there, so 
that's because I grouped this one to make a larger one there. So if we try and find a small one, um, stomach, uh, appetite, um, gnawing, there we go, grab that, plonk it in there, um, hit escape, get rid of that, <coughs> um, go back, so with the small rubrics there, uh, well, CPS seems to be up there. If you go back to some of symptoms with sorted degrees, and there we go. So it's given us our analysis there, and uh, probably call it a day for that one so far. Thank you.